be changing as we head into the end of your work week. Here's Paul. Yeah, you know, I was walking around today uh, checking the pasture earlier today and that sun just beating down on me thinking we have had some fantastic weather around here. Not only the summer, yes, it was warm, but it's been a beautiful fall so far. Now we're starting to get the beauty of the color coming in as well. A walk in Poland today uh, featured these pictures sent in to us. Uh, beautiful fall leaves starting to come on down on the walking path there and it looks like it's going to be a nice evening for us, but it's going to change quickly tonight uh, thanks to a cold front moving Moving on in, you can see all the color there in Warren this evening. A trees changing shape and the high clouds starting to slip on in. 71, our current temperature after a high of 74, and uh, looking at temperatures in the 70s all across eastern Ohio and uh, western Pennsylvania this evening. They will go away tomorrow, but don't worry, they return right back into the forecast as we head into next week. So mid 70s right now, out to the west, it's cooling down quite a bit. We're still dry, and I expect it to stay dry here over the next uh, few hours, but later tonight, especially as we head toward 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, uh, that's when this batch of rain that's sliding into northwestern Ohio now will start sliding our way, and you'll notice little areas of yellows and red showing up too. Small chance for some thunder as this slides through overnight into tomorrow morning, and then the cool air that's settling in out of the northern plains going to slide in for our Thursday into Thursday night. Could be some patchy frost around again by early uh, Friday morning. Here we go through the evening. We stay dry. Future tracker keeping us dry at least through midnight here. Uh, the risk of a shower is there just before midnight and then especially later tonight toward early tomorrow morning. Temperatures slowly falling on into the 50s and then they're going to stick there for a big part of the day tomorrow. Uh, the risk of a heavier rainfall around early tomorrow morning. You can see the yellow and the orange showing up. Of course, Rich Morgan will be in here uh, watching these showers closely in the morning and he'll also be telling you how soon they move out because I'm expecting these later in the morning by midday to be out of here, and that means clearing skies for us. And well, those clearing skies tomorrow night will help that temperature drop right back into the mid 30s. So a cool start to your day Friday morning could be some patchy fog around and some patchy frost to get your Friday morning started. But I'm looking for a lot of sunshine Friday and then temperatures pushing back toward 60 degrees. So tonight watching for that rain to move in. It'll be late evening after sunset, especially toward midnight. Uh, tomorrow the rain around early chance of thunder and then improving weather as we go through the day. Temperatures much cooler though by about 20 degrees. 56 your high temperature. Now seven day forecast does show you those temperatures going back up 60 on Friday. Mostly sunny skies. Friday night football looks fine. Events on Saturday look pretty good right now at storm system slow Blowing up for the weekend, but the chance of rain does return into Sunday. 71 year high, 73 Monday, 75 Tuesday. It's hard to believe we are getting into the middle of October and we're still talking about these warm temperatures, but they look like they're going to stick around at least through the early part of next week. I feel like the HVAC system's getting a run for its money, huh? <laughs> you're switching it back and forth between heat, AC. That's right. You know your switch works well. Yeah, at least it does, right? No complaints yeah. there. Thanks, Paul.